Hello everyone, this is Darren. I am going to list some of the important questions for the ICSC Class 10 Chemistry Board 2021. First lesson, Periodic Table, Periodic Properties and Variations of Properties. The question is, what is Modern Periodic Law? According to the Modern Periodic Law, the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number. Second lesson, Chemical Bonding. The question is, what are the conditions for the formation of an electrovalent or ionic bond? The conditions are low ionization potential, high electron affinity, large electronegativity difference. Third lesson, acids, bases and salts. The question is, what do you mean by pH? The P in pH stands for potence in German, meaning power. So pH means the power of hydrogen. The pH of a solution is the negative logarithm to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration expressed in moles per liter. Fifth lesson, mole concept and stoichiometry. The question is, give the empirical formula of C6H6, C6H12O6 and CH3COOH. The empirical formula of C6H6 is CH. The empirical formula of C6H12O6 is CH2O. The empirical formula of CH3COOH is CH2O. Sixth lesson, electrolysis. The question is, explain the difference between ionization and dissociation. In ionization, formation of positively or negatively charged ions from molecules which are not initially in the ionic state Whereas in dissociation, separation of ions which are already present in the ionic compound. Polar covalent compounds show ionization, example HCl. Whereas electrovalent compounds show dissociation. Seventh lesson, metallurgy. The question is, explain the conversion of concentrated ore to its oxide. Concentrated ore is converted to its oxide because oxides are easier to reduce into metals depending upon the nature of ores two methods are used to convert the ore into its oxide roasting and calcination roasting is a process of heating the concentrated ore to a high temperature in presence of air if an ore is a carbonate or a hydrated oxide it is heated in the absence of air to a temperature that is high but insufficient to melt the ore. This process is known as calcination. Eighth lesson, study of compounds hydrogen chloride. The question is, explain the preparation of hydrogen chloride gas from common salt. Place some common salt in a flask and pour concentrated sulfuric acid through the thistle funnel. On heating the mixture gently, there is effervescence and HCl gas is evolved in a controlled manner. This gas is dried by passing through a washer bottle containing concentrated sulfuric acid. It is collected by upward displacement of air in a gas jar. Ninth lesson, study of compounds, ammonia. The question is, under what conditions do the reactants combine to form ammonia? In Haber's process, favorable conditions. Temperature should be 450 to 500 degrees Celsius. Pressure should be about 200 atm. Catalyst should be finely divided iron. Promoter should be traces of molybdenum. Tenth lesson. Study of compounds nitric acid. The question is, why is quartz used in Oswald process? Quartz is acid resistant and when packed in layers, it helps in dissolving nitrogen dioxide uniformly in water. 11th lesson study of compounds sulfuric acid the question is what are the properties of dilute sulfuric acid the properties are it neutralizes bases to form salt and water it liberates carbon dioxide from metallic carbonates and bicarbonates it evolves hydrogen sulfide from metal sulfides it evolves sulfur dioxide from sulfides and bisulfides 12th lesson, organic chemistry. The question is, 
what are organic compounds and state the difference between organic and inorganic compounds. Organic compounds are the compounds of carbon. They generally do not dissolve in water. They have low melting point and boiling point and easily decompose on heating. They are inflammable. Whereas inorganic compounds generally dissolve in water. They have high melting point and boiling point and usually do not decompose on heating and they do not burn easily. Thank you.